congratulations. So you've ordered your Oracle Cloud application. That's terrific. But what's next? What's the process involved? Well, it's actually a two-part process. And here are, is an overview of the next steps, many of which we'll be discussing in subsequent chapters of this course. Part one is order activation. Order activation is initiated once your order is signed and processed by Oracle. You're then guided to add your new service to your new or existing Oracle Cloud account. Note that once the order is processed by Oracle, you will get a welcome email for you to respond to to activate your order. And a service administrator will activate your order by adding services to a new or your existing account and you'll receive a confirmation of addition of services. Provisioning your environment occurs after you've added services to your cloud account. And this entails being able to activate them through provisioning of new environments. You can do this at a time convenient to you, but it is recommended that you complete this task upon receipt of the activate your services email. So you will get an email to activate your services. Your environments will be provisioned based on your requests and you will get a confirmation. Note that you can assign a new service administrator at your site if you so choose. So the original person who was assigned that role, uh, courtesy of the contract can be changed. And you may want to consider that given that you will receive a temporary password that expires in 60 days, it is highly recommended that you change it as soon as possible. In subsequent lessons, we'll be taking a look at some of the activities related to these steps in this overview.